And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a fun filled day. We have five new decks to try out. We're going to be starting with Pike's Fortune. It's going to be our first deck today. Um, we are, I am playing five decks because um, upcoming on Sunday, it's going to be July 4th and um, I got some family stuff to do on July 4th. I won't be able to stream. So we're going to be playing an extra deck over the next couple of days to uh, still have it. So y'all on YouTube, we're still doing the four decks every day um, at the same times. But this one's gonna be uh, Pike's Fortune. This is going to, and we, we built all four of these decks today, or all five, I guess, all five of these decks <laughs> at the beginning of the stream, that's what we just got done. This one is gonna be Pike with Misfortune, putting those two together, putting them with Demacia where we can have field promotion. We're going to be playing two different field promotion decks. This one and the Lee Sin Zed deck is going to be a field promotion deck because both Lee Sin and Zed seem like great champions with field promotion. So a couple of different field promotion decks. Misfortune, of course, having field promotion would you know, allow it to attack multiple times. But of course, you just want to have things have scout with Misfortune and get Misfortune to level up, have that overwhelm. Also, Pike seems like a pretty decent champion with Misfortune. Sorry. Uh, with field promotion, <laughs> that's what I wanted to say. Those are kind of similar words. Pike seems like a pretty de decent champion with field promotion, basically because you, even though you only get the lurk once, you know, max once per round, but still you just need to do a lot of damage with Pike to level up. Because if you're attacking with Pike multiple times with having the scout, you're going to be leveling up Pike faster. And then once Pike's leveled up, and again, you're attacking with scout Pike that's leveled up, they're going to have to block it because it's it's you know going to be doing a lot of damage to their nexus. And once they once they block it and it kills an enemy, then it's going to be doing a bunch of damage to all their other things and just start striking all of their enemies and kill them all and all that kind of stuff. So that's our thing in here with Pike with field promotion. Get Pike to be attacking a lot. Um, this was a difficult deck to build because there's not like a ton of cards with Lurk. Um, and everything like that, and, and uh, as you can tell, we're not actually playing Pike's Champion spell, the uh, Bone Skewer. Um, that was a, t a tough card to, to not play, but uh, didn't end up having that in here, because um, kind of worried about like our, our card advantage, you know, like putting stuff back on top all the time. Bone Skewer can definitely be good with Pike of like resetting Pike and trying to turn Pike into death from below, but other options, like if we have Pike with if we have Scout Pike, I don't really want to reset it, and I don't want to reset Misfortune and things like that. So we ended up just not playing the, um, you know, that that uh, Bone Skewer. We got like Monster Harpoon for removal instead. We got Repost being able to help buff up the power of Pike and you know keep that in Misfortune alive. We can rally with Golden Ages. Decide to use that with with the Barrier. Vanguard Redeemer is going to be some card advantage for us because like if we're attacking with all of these like little lurk things. They're probably blocking the, the lurk units or like blinding assault, kill stuff. And uh, so if they're doing that, then you know maybe Vanguard Redeemer can help get us some, some more um, allies. We got one scout unit with Island Navigator to go along with this Misfortune, I guess besides blinding assault to two scout units. We got Jawfish in here because that was kind of my takeaway from yesterday was that these lurk decks kind of need jawfish <laughs> you know like we're not going to be as good of a lurk deck we don't have as many lurker allies but still i want to try jawfish i think this is going to be like the the new riptide rex for the lurk decks and obviously if we have like a pike in play jawfish is going to be incredible with pike um so we're gonna try we're just gonna try that out you know like we're, we're trying stuff out right like that's what new format new sets all about let's try stuff out we're gonna try blood baits in here to be able to create some more snap jaw swarms. I don't love that this is card disadvantage, right? Cause you're spending mana just to put a card on top of your deck. So you, that card's just gone, but we do need more cards that have lurk and snap jaw swarms with how they have the free attack um, seems really amazing with misfortune. So the more of them that we can have that we can just have a misfortune play and then just keep playing these snap jaw swarms and get the free attacks, the more of those, the better. So anyway, let, that's that's about it. Let's get to it. Let's play some Pike's Fortune. All right, playing against Aurelia Azir. That's a good deck. All right, we'll get rid of Repost. The Repost can save Misfortune, but we already got like one protection spell for Misfortune with the Sharp Sight. But Repose can maybe be better against like the, you know, the one drop that can get huge. I 
Field promotion. Everything's better with company. Says you. I want scout misfortune. You need not follow, but you will witness. Do we want scout misfortune? No. No, okay. So you gotta figure out how to, like this is a difficult deck to sequence. Gotta figure out what we're doing. All right, now we're good. So my thinking here is this attack round, we're gonna attack twice with the Valor. Next attack round, uh, field promotion, the Snapjaw Swarm, be able to attack twice again. And so, like, next attack round, we have leveled up Misfortune. Round five. I did have Shapestone. I did have another Shapestone. I kind of feel like Shapestone's just always a plus three, plus one. Forget that it's not always a plus three, plus one. Alright, cool. Got some Shapestones out of their hand. Killed Azir. Sharp Sight's still good. And so now Misfortune's halfway to leveling up. I guess I don't even need to use this field promotion, but it's definitely worth it. All right, so not a lurk on top. That gives me another attack token. So now we get to challenge with Vela. Vela. I think Valor sounds like that. All right, we'll level up Misfortune. And there we go. And so we're, we even have the other two drop in place. So we're going to be able to play that again and get another attack and get another Misfortune ability. Okay, okay. No, we already had the scout attack that round whenever we scouted the Snapjaw. So we did, so attacking with Misfortune there when it leveled up was perfectly fine. We couldn't get another scout attack. Okay, so playing against dragons. Dragons are the death of all of the small unit decks like ours. I assume we want one drop lurker into valor. Means I probably don't want this two drop. Harpoon seems like it's just so necessary against the dragons though, so I think we have to keep it. We got a pike. Ooh, we got a lurk on top. Let's go. Jawfish. We wear red to honor the fall. Lame. Lurk on top? No. Dragon blood to heart. Man, that is not bad. It's just too much mana for Monster Harpoon whenever they could just have single combat and stop it.
Ooh, another pike? Interesting. I forgot that thing was going to level up immediately. Forgot about the damage that did to the other thing. Man, and that's just such a fast pass. I mean, the harpoon's not going to kill it, so I, guess I don't have a better option, though. My other option is, yeah, no, I just don't have a better option. Dude, these dragons are rough. <laughs> Yeah, I wish we had one more mana, right? I wish I had the, the mana for the for the pike spell. Man, this is this is just over. Shivana's amazing. You know, you got Shivana, you can protect it. You got these removal spells. Shivana is amazing. Okay, okay. Another monster harpoon. That could do some work. Man, I do not have any good options. Looking for trouble. Still. I'm kind of hoping that, like, having all of these different. Lurkers, and then playing like this 8-drop this next round. Like that can do some stuff. Sweet. Jawfish still great. Because basically I liked how my opponent like wasted all their mana the last round. Because of course they were expecting me to attack and they had all their defensive things ready waiting for me to attack. What's it, what's it fighting? I guess, I think this thing? Okay, yeah, I guess this thing. That still dealt a decent amount of damage to this dragon, Shivana. I can do it again, or simply attack right now. With us having a good attack. I did kind of save up. I'm gonna wait on that. Oh come on, Riptide Rex! What are you doing? You're doing all the damage to the wrong things. I guess I should have played this. Should have played this thing first. The Sharkling gave given me one other, you know, three more damage, one other target. Should have played that first. We missed the lurk. We got them down to five. Oh 
But I am running out of useful things. Running out of useful things. Triple Prismatic Barrier. Man, those Prismatic Barriers have been amazing. They've had three of them. All three have been brutal. Two of them have stopped Mo Monster Harpoon. Man, that card's been brutal. I definitely have regrets, you know, like, that's... <laughs> We're still learning, like, these are still all new cards and, you know, learning how all these things interact. But I, I wish that I, I knew, like, exactly how this is going to play out and go replay it, right? Because there's there's definitely a lot of turns that I wish I did different things. Um, but, you know, like, that's, that's it's a learning, you know, learning process. So dragons are great, man. Dragons are pretty great. I don't really see any real thing I'm doing from here. I missed on Lurk again. Dragons are great. All right, GG's one on one. You learn too. It's all about learning. Got to keep learning. All right, Echo Zillion. So the fishies are going to go back. I don't know. This blinding assault. I don't know exactly what I want. You know, like, it does. it's not going to match up against Zillion whatsoever. And without Misfortune, I think we're going to send it back. They, of course, don't really mind their zillion dying. Time is winding, like a watch. I'm just going to play this instead of um, using my valuable lurk card. Or vulnerable card. Sorry, vulnerable card. Ah. It's tough. It's tough having half a deck of lurkers. Okay, Rose, you tried how we talked about yesterday with the Echo Zillion putting in Kikiri and Siphoning Strike, and you said it felt much better to you. Cool, good to know. See, that's the card that I wanted to get vulnerable to. Hmm. I kind of want to go, you know, play Pike and then block the 4-2 with the Sharp Sight, but then that, that's going to leave Pike at one health. The ocean whispers her secrets. Heading topside. Two you do not doubt. <laughs> Lurks like missing a legion, but every every round. Yeah, basically. Always forward. Hey, we got a lurk. is correct we have much to look forward to open wide sure i don't really want pike to die to like a get excited i just play and that happens
Really want to draw Misfortune. We know we're not going to. We know we have a Lurk on top right now, but yeah, like Misfortune makes, you know, so many of our other, other cards much better. This is where I'm playing Pike. Because now I have Riposte to protect Pike. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Difficult to attack him with those two ones against two threes. Keeping repose protection for Pike. don't have the incentive right now for for the blinding assault Sight crystal's pretty good. Yeah, Corey says this hexite crystal is pretty broken, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. We know we have a lurker on top. Ugh, man, I gotta. You can hide from time, but not me. Yeah, we'll see about that, Pike. I was about to level up too with one more predict. Can be undone. Oh, a time bomb? Oh man, that's not good. I can't stop time bomb. <laughs> so many cards in our hand that don't, just don't do anything. Oh man. This is pretty rough, not gonna lie. Well, none of these cards have any text. So, I guess I pass. <laughs> One misfortune in our hand would be so unlocked. Alright, we did lurk. Alright, so it's a 3-2. That's good. Okay. If we can undo what has been done, we can timekeeper. Let me show you. I can't play this card because then we just have a really crappy snap jaw on top of the deck and I need to be drawing better cards than that. Technically, the three one kills me faster. Okay. See, that's a real card. 
No, so this this thing says predict and then create a copy of the chosen card, whatever you choose with predict. Not so not they didn't put another copy of the zero two in their deck, so now they just made another copy of Echo. So we have a 33% chance of hitting the Echo, which is what I want to do. Okay, not quite. So the problem with Bloodbait is there's a lot of times where this card is not playable. Would have been more beneficial if you would have just killed the e the echo to begin with. Jellfish. Oh, uh, if I would have golden ages, I would have lurked this thing. There's gotta be more to you than just killing Pike. I got the rest of it loose. I built it to me. All right, so not. Not alert card on top. So in order for Pike to level up, I need a alert card on top. It needs to do six. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and cast this. So now Pike will level up, but now we have to draw that <laughs> that crappy, whatever that card's called, snap jaw. Oh, what? It works like that? Wait, but it... What? But like the level one pike killed the thing, not level two pike. So level one pike still kills everything? So we know this isn't alert card on top, but I, I mean, I guess I just play this. But we know that's not alert card from last time. Dude, that is absurd. I didn't even realize that would happen. That is pretty absurd. So when your level one pike kills something and transform it, it immediately starts killing everything else. That is crazy. All right, well, there we go. I was not thinking we were gonna be winning that game, but I guess pike's absurd. Dang. Do I have a favorite champion yet from the new expansion? So out of those three? Um, I like all three of them. I kind of do like all three of them. Pike seems like the best one, but you know, it's not like super easy to enable and everything, but Pike seems kind of ridiculous. It's like, I, I kind of want to keep all these cards, but I also kind of want to mulligan everything. This is, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Zed Darius. Hmm. Okay, this is just... And <laughs> these blood baits are just strictly worse than just having Snapjaw Swarms. I think I kind of hate this card, blood bait. Maybe I should be keeping the Snapjaw Swarms. Looking for trouble. It found you. It found you. Act natural. I got you. Hmm. I know a way. Oh, that 
think it's gonna be a one-two, but yeah, actually, okay. I want them to know about the blinding assault, so, so I want them to play the dancing droplet so I can challenge the dancing droplet. There's always a way out. Stop. Well, I guess we're just challenging this thing, so I'm getting the scout attack in for sure. Dancing droplet still broken. Powerful Wizard says, I'm listening while I'm at work, and I love this board's music. I agree, this board does have very good music. I really like this board just all together. I think it looks really cool and everything, too. Ooh, got another lurking. All right, Miss Fortune leveled up. Getting some free attacks is pretty nice. Can't do anything about all these elusives. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna lose two elusives. Is that lethal? 12, 13, 14, 15? Yes, it is. Alright, well. GG's. Dancing droplet still broken. And see, so yeah, maybe if, if we don't have Blood Bay, we get draw steps, we find Sharp Sight, or any kind of interaction. All right, so we mulligan Pike, which means I'm basically mulliganing everything. Twisted Fate Swain. So Twisted Fate Swain is going to be a deck that has like lots of removal, actually. So I want it. I don't want field promotion here. I instead, I think I want these two. Actually, they're actually pretty decent against removal, right? Like you just get two bodies and good stats there. Um, Redeemer get you, can get you another body afterwards. Ugh, but you're still not playable. We also keep having the attack token on the even rounds in our Misfortune deck. That's not great. Yeah, it's that's the thing is we kind of have to play, we have to play Blood Bait to help us hit Lurk. Well, that's kind of broken. It's really not that broken. Yeah, attacking on the evens isn't always great. Something to keep us moving. Always forward. Cool, we hit lurk. I wanted to be able to have the three man for Monster Harpoon available, but instead of playing the Blood Bait. Oh, wait, did we not hit Lurk? No, yeah, we hit Lurk. Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, man, that's just not. It's unfortunate. It's not going to work for me. Yeah, that's a good hand for the opponent.
JJ asks, why is nobody playing Thralls right now? I guess because people are just playing new stuff. There's not really too much new or exciting about Thralls, but, I mean, Thralls is going to be very good. I expect Thralls to be one of the best decks. Hitting a decent amount of lurk stuff. Fear the power. attack those into the house spider but I guess they're gonna attack their house spider we're gonna have to block that's messy Such a close game. Kill this Leviathan, otherwise the game's over. So two of these, two of my three have to hit Leviathan. No, we miss Leviathan. Good close game, though. Good close game. They had a really good hand, and so I, I was, I was pretty impressed with our deck. I was pretty impressed with how we. Um, withstood their early game that they had and all the the pressure and stuff they had the early game and how we kind of turned that around and how we did stabilize they did draw that leviathan though to finish it out that monster harpoon didn't you know couldn't quite kill swain right like so that was that was like the big hindrance to us there multiple times we had like monster harpoon and they had swain and we just couldn't quite kill swain with that thing so that was unfortunate but um, yeah, field promotion promotion was okay in here with the Snapjaw Swarm. We got to really go off like one time, you know, like that first game. So that was pretty cool. Um, I still don't know if I like this Blood Bait as we saw like that last game. I just couldn't play it whatsoever. And so I think that, I don't know. It's, it's kind of like a card you need to play in here to make sure you have more Lurk cards. With just having half of a region, or you know, like one region of Lurk instead of having two regions of Lurk. It's kind of the problem when they split up these cards between two regions it's like like they, they kind of force you to play both regions but um i did like the the jawfish overall i think the jawfish was was very powerful it, it is it's less powerful again with the one region of only having half the lurkers but i think that if you're playing just like the lurker deck in general with pike and rexai i recommend playing three jawfish i really do i think this is like the kind of card that the deck needs to win uh to kind of put games out of reach to win games Good, you know, good learning experiences and, you know, fun gameplay and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to keep on, you know, keep on just kind of having like these different card combinations and just seeing how these cards work. That's what it's all about. And hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you got any suggestions for the deck or suggestions for other decks to play coming up with, um, you know, with just with all these new ish champion you know like the the new updated champions and everything like that let me know uh, i would love to hear it all right but that's gonna be it here for pike's fortune so so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video